The Sixth Day, of course, stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as Adam Gibson, a man who is cloned without his consent or acknowledgement, okay? And now he has to try and figure out a way to get what he thinks is the clone version of himself away from his family and as well as stop as stop these big corporation that cloned him of course and their goons played by Howard Rucker a very young Terry Crews and some other chick uh there's a reason why I picked 2015 to do Arnold Schwarzenegger's reviews why you might ask because this movie takes place in the year 2015 <laughs> and it's futuristic as shit yet we're in 2015 now everything's just regular so yeah another notable thing about the sixth day is that this is terry cruz film debut awesome he's not as big as he is today but he still had a little bit of a presence and who would have thought almost a decade later in 2010 him and schwarzenegger would meet up again in the Expendables. So, Terry Crews has had a nice little career these last, now, 15 years. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, that's an um, awesome thing. Um, I like his best friend, the movie. His best friend is, uh, who's he played by? He is played by, uh, what is Michael Rappaport. There we go. Michael Rappaport is awesome in this movie. I love Michael Rappaport in this movie. He is funny, charismatic, and you just can't help but not like but not like him. He's just awesome. Okay, Michael Rooker again. That's one of the cronies for Tony Goldwyn's company. He's cool. I like him. Speaking of Tony Goldwyn, I didn't know Tony Goldwyn even had a round head because <laughs> nowadays his hair is all square and it's all uh, buzzed looking and everything. So. See him with an actual round head because his hair is all cut and rounded. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I thought he had a square head. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You also got Robert Duvall in this movie as well. Robert Duvall is um, a scientist that works for Tony uh, Goldwyn's company. And his wife is going through some stuff. And we find some stuff out about her as well. Remember watching this movie as a kid, not not knowing what the fuck was going on, but just remembering there were two Arnold Schwarzeneggers in the same movie. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Almost half a decade later, 15 years later, I kind of get what the movie's going. I get most of the story, and the reason why I say most of the story is when Robert Duvall is explaining most of the stuff, I get, I get the reason why he's why it happened the way it did but there's a second half of that explanation he starts to explain and i'm like wait huh I'm, st I, I'm i don't think i'll ever get that unless it's thoroughly explained by somebody who actually knows how to explain it better or in english and not like scientifically speaking if you will but i still come off as a little confused as to the rest of that conversation and i'm like wait huh what <laughs> Also, another good thing is, it's like a Marvel property. You kill somebody, but they keep coming back because they keep getting cloned. And the best line ever from our Schwarzenegger, doesn't anybody ever stay dead anymore? <laughs> so, yeah. All in all, though, End of Days is a nice little cheese fest. Acting is top-notch. You got a list cast in this movie, so it cannot be top notch. Hell, you even got Wendy Cruz in here. She hasn't done anything in a long time. I think the last time I seen Wendy Cruz in it was the Santa Claus Three. Hmm. Almost a decade ago. Uh. -uh. But uh, yeah. All in all, though, I'm going to give the Sixth Day a B minus, only because I'm I'm still a little confused at just exactly what that fucking conversation was was trying to explain. <sighs> I don't know if I'll ever get that. But if I don't, that's fine. It's still an awesome movie. Still got some good-ass action. The effects look nice. They should look nice. Uh, how much does this movie cost? Because I'm trying to... 
movie cost $82 million and only made $96 million. Wow, that's not very good. But it is a very underrated Schwarzenegger flick. He has a lot of good underrated movies that everybody doesn't either not know about or really don't like. But hey, that's why you got me, because I like most of them. And I'll let you know which ones I like when I review them, because I only have, what, 13 more Schwarzenegger reviews? I would say 14, but Terminator is the newest one I'm talking about from his library. I only have 13 more Schwarzenegger reviews to go. So anyways, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the sixth day down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What is your favorite sci-fi movie that confused the fuck out of you when you were a kid, and now that you're older, still can barely understand what the fuck's going on? Because... <laughs> This is kind of that movie for me. So let me know down below. Catch you guys later.